All right, Pastor Cooley here. I cannot help it. I have to come to you and say this because it is just like unbelievably predictable. And I really hate to say I told you so, but God's people have got to be smarter than what they are. Okay, they just have Amen. to be. They really have to wake up. I'm coming to you from the Southern Command, deep behind enemy lines in Texas. <laughs> With Big Jim. Big Jim. Hello. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, and Grandpa Cooley in the back. Chad. All right. <laughs> now, listen. You got trumped. <laughs> They ought to have one of those little little things like they do. You got mail. They should have that every time you see one of those Trump videos. You got trumped because you got trumped. Kelly Conaway, um, Donald Trump's campaign manager. Listen to what she says. Remember all these video. Remember all these videos and on all these campaign uh, campaign stops and it's lock her up. Lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. And they're all going nuts, just like it is like when Hacksaw Jim Duggan threw up the two by four and said, right. USA, USA, yeah. USA. Yeah, all you have to do is chant and people are dumb and they just yeah. follow it because they don't even know what's going on. Yeah. Okay, now I know this is going to sound mean to some of you, but that's okay because you got to start waking up and using the brain that God gave you. Amen. Okay, this guy was not going to lock her up because he's a tag team yeah. partner with her. They're all on the same team. That's right. All right. You, they are not going to lock her up. Okay, that's not going to happen. And when all the hillbillies from down in Texas and everywhere else were screaming, I'm sorry, Brother Jim, but when all of them were screaming, lock her up, lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. And I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Because it isn't. Why? Because they're all on the same team. Oh, he's an outsider. Give me a break. You got trumped. That's what happened to you. Okay? Face it. And this is just going to be like a picture of the future. I know Baptist preachers that preach against the New World Order that don't even know better. You Seriously? Did you do any research on all or did you just listen to somebody's campaign speech? All you did was listen to somebody's campaign speech. They're not going to lock her up. You know what you know what her campaign manager said with a female appeal and this is how slick Trump is this is how much of a stinking psycho he is okay he goes out there and he sends his campaign manager out there for her to say for her to say this we w the president elect wants to help Hillary Clinton heal what heal heal from what yep are you insane she needs to heal. No, she needs to go to prison. I'm I am. She's a wicked murdering devil. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Seriously, she needs to heal. He's going to drain the swamp. He's going to drain the swamp. Yeah. Oh, he's such a good guy. Listen, he's tremendous. He's 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 super tremendous. And we're going to build a wall. And that wall is going to be a big, beautiful, big, huge, big, beautiful wall. It's going to be big. It's going to be so big and so huge. Huger than huge, huge. That's what it's going to be. Tremendous. That's what it's going to be. Folks, listen to me. You got to stop falling for this, okay? I Listen, I could have told you the plot of this, and I did try to tell you the plot of this, but a lot of people didn't listen. But I could have told you the plot to this um, just by showing you the average WWE episode from back in the 90s when I used to watch it. That's what I could have done. And I could have showed you exactly what the plot was going to be. Donald Trump comes out like a bad guy at first, okay? And he's a Democrat. And then he switches and he turns babyface. See, babyface is when wrestlers turn and they turn to good and they put on a babyface and then everybody likes him. Donald Trump just turned on a baby face on you, and he just acted like he was good. But in the meantime, he's still the same old wicked devil he always was. He just wanted to get in and get in good with people and do that. See, that's called a baby face. That's just, that's just, that's just same. All that is is same old, same old psychological warfare. And people's minds are like, yeah, he really wants to go after Clinton. He's really good. How can you go after people that you, like, party with and you hang out with? Mm-hmm.
I mean, how do you go after those people? You don't. The first thing he says was, I'm just going to let Hillary. We need to help her heal. Heal from what? What? What is there to heal from? I thought she didn't. I thought you said that she was supposed to be locked up like she was a really bad criminal. She's a nasty woman. Nasty. He said nasty woman. Nasty, nasty woman. Until the day he got elected, and then what happens? Well, then he switches. And then automatically those bad guys become good guys. Haven't you ever watched wrestling back when you were a lost, wicked, hellbound sinner like I was? Didn't you ever watch that? I mean, you could watch it like they'd be like the worst guys ever, and all of a sudden they'd hit somebody in the back of the head with a Halliburton or jump off the top rope and drop an elbow in somebody's head, and they were automatically a good guy, and everybody loved him. That's what Trump did. That's what he did. He's a master at psychological warfare. Now, go listen to the, go listen to the two sermons, Trumped, listen to that one, and then listen to the radio show that we just did that's part one that's four hours long listen to that one you'll learn some things from it your pride's going to get wounded a little bit okay and i'm a lot nicer in the radio show than i am right now okay i really am honestly um and the reason for that is is because i i'm just tired of people that are supposed to know better and I'm talking to Bible-believing, born-again Christians here that are Baptist pastors and everything else that are supposed to know better and, are, and think Donald Trump is the answer. Why? Because he's going to kill the moose lambs. You know them moose lambs? He's going to kill them moose lambs. Why do you want to see people die? Why don't you want to see them saved? That's right. Amen. Amen. I mean, seriously, you think that those Muslims are more dangerous? This is nothing more than Vietnam. Yep. The war against drugs, Korea. the war on terror, Korea, and everything else. Build up the boogeyman, problem, reaction, solution. That's all it is. That's all it is. Very simple. Snap out of it. Use your Bible. Wake up and see that Donald Trump is a wicked, corporate, fascist man. That's all he is. And stop trying to look for a Muslim to kill and start looking for one that you can preach to. Amen. That's right. That's what you need to be doing. Those people need to be saved. All right? All those illegal Mexicans that are coming over the border, and all that, they need to be saved. Amen. <laughs> they need the gospel of Jesus Christ. They need to be born again by the Spirit of God and the power of God in their lives. They need saved. I'm not saying there's not something that people need to do about it or government needs to take care of. For the, yeah, obviously we understand that. But still and yet, the Christian, what are we supposed to have on our minds? The gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're all afraid man. of a bunch of Muslims. That means you're not trusting God at all. Amen. I believe in self-defense like everybody else is. But you know what? You are afraid of Muslims, which means you are not trusting God. You are not trusting him. Because if you were trusting God, then you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be afraid, and they wouldn't have played on your emotions and on your fears. He played with your emotions with Hillary and said he was going to, oh, I'm going to lock her up, lock her up, nasty woman, lock her up. And then all of a sudden, oh, she's a great person. I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to hurt those two. So you're not going to, you said you were going to get the attorney general to, your attorney general investigator, but you're not going to? No, he's not going to. So now what's next? What's next? What, what else is he going to break? I mean, he hasn't even been elected yet, and he's already broken his promises. Yep. Why? Well, because he's a politician and his lips are moving. That's why. That's right. His lips are moving. He's lying. That's how that works, especially an American politician. I mean, we can go on and on and on and on, and I don't have time to keep going, but I'm going to tell you something right now. These people don't care about you. They only want to make money, and they want to make their fortunes bigger, and they don't care. How do you know that? Well, because they always, Social Security is always in trouble, but their, their pay is never in trouble. Nope. The two hundred dollars to $300,000 a year that they all make, it ain't never in trouble. How come it ain't never in trouble? How come their health care ain't in trouble? Why don't they have the same health care you have? You were forced to have. I'll tell you why. Because they're a bunch of devils. That's why. Wake up. Snap out of it. None of them are good. Crooked. If they are good, they get pushed out. Or they get marginalized and they get destroyed. That's what happens. That's how it works. If a campaign's real, they don't make it. Look at Ron Paul. His platform is real. Whatever the guy did wrong, he did wrong. But his platform is real. And guess what happened? Out. Rand Paul. I don't agree with a lot of Rand Paul said, but he was the only he was the only adult on the stage, okay? And nobody wanted to hear from the adult. 
Again, I don't agree with everything he said, but nobody wanted to hear from the adult. Why? He was an adult. He spoke like a man. We have real problems that we need to take care of. This is the solution to it. Nobody wanted to talk about those things. Nobody at all. Anyway, all right, just a quick note. You got trumped. Don't fall for it again. The next four years, they're going to stroke up the fear again. Get you to vote. Don't fall for it.